All right, uh, great to be back home. Uh, get a chance to play in front of the student body and our, our fans. Uh, playing an excellent team in, in North Texas. Uh, it's a team that's gone to three straight bowl games. Coach Luttrell and his staff uh, has done a remarkable job. Uh, I've reminded our defense that this is a group that went into SEC country last year, put 40-something points on an SEC team and beat them there. So they're not going to go on the road and be intimidated by anything, and we have got to have our best effort uh, to, to play the kind of football we're, we're capable of playing. Why is it you guys have been, since you, since you as a staff have been here, this team, win, lose, good, bad, or other, seems to chuck everything into the past weeks of the game's done. And you guys are able to move on. Why have you guys been so successful at that? And, and that's key in a game like this, coming off of an emotional win like you did and then facing it. Well, I, I, think, I think Coach Wilcox has done a great job setting the culture that what happened yesterday, what happened last week, never matters this week. It's all about a nameless, faceless opponent. It's about going 1-0 this week. That's easier said than done a lot of times, especially when you're talking about young men. It, it, it is, but I think when you have guys with high character uh, that have been around us and have, have been hearing that message over and over and over again, they believe in it. They've seen the results of what happens uh, when you buy into that mentality, and, and they're all in on it. And so uh, it starts at the top, obviously, and, and it gets echoed through the assistants, and I think our players – you know, particularly on defense, we've got so many starts with our guys. They know what it is to work on Tuesday and Wednesday. And they have expectations and standards that they've set, and it really doesn't matter to us who we're playing. What do you, what do you see from the guy from North Texas? Uh, from North Texas, uh, it, it is a very difficult offense to prepare for. You've got a quarterback uh, who started for multiple years, a two-time conference player of the year, a guy that really knows their offense and can really spin it. And he's got some skill around him that's very comparable to what we play all the time. Uh, really impressed with, with, with their guys. Uh, they've got a couple of running backs that run extremely hard. And anytime you've got a team that's running for 200 yards and throwing for almost 300, uh, you know, what are you going to do? You know, it's, it's one thing to have an air eight team that you know they're going to throw it all the time. They've got some aspects of that. There's another thing that, you know, if a team's running all the time, you can do it. But when they do a great job of mixing it up, even their third downs, they'll get in third and long and run the football and get first downs. With, with a quarterback who's got so much experience, can you do much disguising, or do you just want to line up and just go, hey, this is what we do? Well, there's two things. You know, uh, They do have some aspects of tempo. You'll see teams getting uh, lined up late on them. And so one of the things that people try to do us to, to get us out of our disguise is to use some tempo. So we have to get our calls in and get our guys lined up. Uh, it just kind of depends on how they're going to play the game. we got to react to how they, they you know set it up. So. Our guys know what our disguises are. If we can use them, great. If not, we'll just line up and play. Who's Mason Fine like that you've played before? Um, kind of reminds me a little of Shea Patterson from Ole Miss a couple years ago. You know, maybe not a big guy, but he can really spin the ball. He can run. Uh, he he can. Uh, he really operates his offense very well. He'll get pressure, stand in there and make throws, and he can run the ball to move the stick. So. Uh, Probably that's, you know, the, the, the guy we played a couple weeks ago at Davis, I was really impressed with. They're similar type of quarterbacks. You know, they're not big guys, but they're guys that can spin it and run their offense very, very efficiently. You say he's very confident. Is that something you can actually see when you I think so, him? absolutely. You know, there's guys that have that play with a swagger. Uh, you know, I was around the guy, you know, Johnny Manziel at, at A&M. Not that he's Johnny, but, I mean, he's kind of got that, hey, I'm the man kind of a attitude about him. And I think when you've got that as the leader, that their team decides to, hey, this guy thinks we're going to do it, we're going to get it done. And you look at the results, and, and they've been uh, up to the task. Does it help you that you have a guy like that on your defense? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, you know, uh, our guys have had a really good buy-in since we got here. Uh, they, they believed in Coach Wilcox's message, and, you know, slowly we started getting the thing turned. But, you know, you get a guy like, like you know, Evan, who believes totally in himself. I can remember he didn't go through our first spring. And he told me that summer he was the best defensive player we had, <laughs> and I said, "Okay, big boy, let's 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 see you come fall." And you know, sure enough, he's he's earned that right to uh, uh, you know be the guy that lays it down. And I think our guys respond to that. You know, when you have a guy that is very very confident in his ability, works his tail off, and then produces, um, everybody else is inspired by it. When when he comes out and says we're going to go up to Washington and win, I'm sure that's the kind of thing that makes coaches cringe. But with some of that aimed at his teammates to say, look at guys, maybe we weren't happy with how we played today, 
But we're going to go up there and we're going to win that game. I don't know that Evans that cerebral, but uh, I'd like to think that's the case. I think that uh, it's, it's probably more of a reflection of just what where his mentality is. His mentality is when we work and we execute our plan, it doesn't matter who we're playing, we're going to find a way to win. Now, that first week we didn't execute as well as we'd hoped to and give credit to Davis. I mean, they, they did a heck of a job. And so he's just you know acknowledging the fact that when we go to games, we expect to win and we don't care who's put in front of us, whether it's North Texas or whether it's you know Washington or who, I don't even know who we're playing next. Is it one of those deals where maybe as a coach you're kind of gritting your teeth a little bit, but you still like to have a guy who thinks that way? Yeah, you know, I don't think I would have ever been as bold to to, uh, to tell the media you know, the things that, that Evan says, but that's who he is. And, yeah, you, you, you tend to, you know, try to have a conversation, say, Evan, careful writing checks with our defense's money, you know, you're going to have to cash that check on Saturday, and he did. So, uh, you know, I told, I told him, thank God he ch cashed that check because uh, he, he wrote a big one. You guys good? Thanks, Thanks much. Right, thank you. All right.